915,103,765. This is the number of different combinations you should be able to build with six 2.4 Lego bricks. Mathematician Soren Ehlers reached that conclusion after building a special computing program that has to run five minutes to get to that number. The problem grows exponentially harder when you add bricks. To know how many combinations are possible with eight bricks, he had to run his computer for nothing less than 20 days. So forget about the metaverse, Activision Blizzard, the most complex game in 2022, is a game your father already played with. So how did LEGO create such a consistent system that lasts for a generation and led them to the top of the toy industry? In this video, you will discover how the six-step system was written, the purpose of the tube under the brick, and why the minifigures have a yellow skin. So stay with us and discover how LEGO built the infinite game. Number 1 from carpenter to toy maker. The history started in 1916 in a small town called Billund in Denmark, where Ole Kirk Christensen buys a carpentry shop that produces wooden-based products such as doors and drawers. Little did he know that the years to come would be so hard. Indeed, Ole had to rebuild the business several times as the shop burned down in 1924, 1942 and 1960. He also struggled to pass through the Great Depression of the 1930s, a period in which he had the brilliant idea to focus only on wooden toys. Following advice from the National Association for Danish Enterprise, who recommended to focus on smaller and ready-to-sell products. This is when Ole gave the name Lego to the company, assembling two Danish words, leg got, meaning play well. It proved to be a successful bet as the sales grew, even with the beginning of the war, children still wanted Lego toys. The third fire of 1960 would end the production of wooden toys and Lego would focus only on plastic. With the help of Oli's son Gottfred, the company would enter its modern era. Number 2 The Lego System Gottfred gradually took over the business decisions in the 1950s with a booming post-war economy and their recent investment in molding machines for plastics, the LEGO company was exploring new possibilities. It is after a chat with a famous toy purchase manager that Gottfred had the brilliant idea of the LEGO system. The buyer complained that the toy industry was poor because all the toys were imagined independently and there was no system to link them and generate recurrent sales. On his way back, Gottfred wrote the six points that would be the cornerstone of the LEGO multi-billion success. 1. The toy has to be compact without limiting the free expression of imagination. 2. It has to be reasonably priced. 3. It has to be simple and durable and offer unlimited variety. 4. It has to be suitable for children of all ages, for boys and girls. 5. It has to be classic in its presentation, needing no renewal. 6. It has to be easily distributed. And the LEGO system was born. Number 3. Only the best is good enough. This phrase has been the motto of the company since the very beginning. It took them almost 20 years to make the perfect plastic brick. Did you ever wonder why there are small tubes under the bricks? LEGO first tried to build the LEGO bricks in the late 1940s, yet it had a major flaw. The bricks would not stick together much, which generated complaints from the clients. As Gottfried focused on building the system in play, LEGO developed stronger bricks and patented the tube in 1958. The tube in between gave a stronger clutch power and unleashed the immense building possibilities we know for the LEGO bricks. The LEGO Group became expert in plastic molding. They opened production facilities around the world to be closer to consumers in Germany, in the USA, and today in China, of course. Another process that increased productivity was to split the pieces in several bags inside the box. It reduced missing or excess bricks in each construction. The LEGO production process has become an example of excellence. 
only 18 bricks out of every million produced are thrown away. According to a contest launched by the BBC in 2012, Lego bricks are so solid that to break the first one, it would take a pile of 375,000 bricks. That would be a 3.6 kilometers high tower. More than 11 times La Tour Eiffel. Number 4. Legoland. Gottfried Kirk Christensen was never short of bold ideas to seduce new customers. The success of the Lego settings was attracting buyers from all over the world. Everyone wanted to discover the new models. At the end of the 1960s, the modeling room of the offices started to be so crowded that Gottfried decided to open a park to exhibit the constructions. In 1968, the first Legoland park opened in Billund. More than 600,000 people visited it the first year. The company's estimate was just half of it. The park features many attractions and a hotel for complete immersion. Hosts are even welcome with Lego packs in their rooms. More parks opened in the 1990s in Germany and California. The branch was sold in 2005 to Merlin Entertainment, a company specialized in attraction franchises. This way, the LEGO Group could focus on their main business, producing toys. There are more than 10 LEGO Land parks around the globe in 2022, and at least 5 others are to open until 2027. Mainly in Asia, Shenzhen is planned to become the largest one. Number 5. The Hollywood Star Did you ever wonder why our LEGO figures are yellow? The first minifigures were launched in 1976. They were small, simple, and yellow-skinned. Little did they know that they would become Hollywood stars. At the time, the company was already selling all around the world and did not want to differentiate skin colors to target a specific ethnic category, so they chose this yellow tone. Arguably, having only one skin color would enable economies of scale and more efficient production. Yet. Lego remained famous for not marketing their products for specific gender, unlike their competitors. It seems again that the designers were visionary. Their first minifigures with light or dark skins appeared only in 2003 in a special NBA edition. Today, Lego produces an infinity of minifigures. You can even build your own one on the site. The figures opened a whole universe of possibilities for the company. Among them was partnerships with iconic franchises such as Star Wars. During the 1990s, LEGO started to collaborate with many desired franchises such as Star Wars, Batman, Indiana Jones, Pirate of the Caribbean, and also started to diversify to video games and movies. The 2014 LEGO movie was a huge box office success with more than $400 million of revenue fueled the interest for the brand, and retailers even reported shortages of toys after its release. This is how LEGO gave life to its system. Number 6. The LEGO Stores The LEGO Stores are opening at an outstanding pace. Another bold move at a time where most of the companies are divesting stores to invest on the internet. Historical distributors for LEGO are actually struggling. A proof is the recent bankruptcy of the leading retailer Toys R Us. The store opening strategy is indeed a reaction to this decline. A way to exploit and improve the brand narrative, as other leading brands did. Tell us in the comments what you think about it. Is it a good strategy or not? The stores feature all types of constructions and universes, as well as areas of demonstrations to see the construction closer. It is a great continuity of Gottfried's commercial visions. When he started to negotiate with German retailers, he required them to display the products and have an area of demonstration where the kids could play and try the bricks. The first store to open was in Australia in 1984. Today, Stores are opening at a fast pace. In 2021, LEGO opened 165 new stores to reach a total of 832. Today, with $8.4 billion in revenue, LEGO is the largest toy company in the world, ahead of Bandai, Asbro, and Mattel. 
and ranks as one of the most powerful brands on earth. Number 7. The Lego Community. Do you remember when your marketing teachers took the example of the Apple fans lining up at night in front of the stores to get the new iPhone? Well, Lego is doing even better. They built and fueled a real multi-generational community. Fans would subscribe to Lego magazine, which was issued for 30 years between 1987 and 2017. They will engage in competitions of the best and most innovative builders. Lego would even get inspired by the community to issue new sets, like this fine reproduction of Van Gogh's painting of the Starry Night, submitted in 2020 on the site and released in the stores in 2022. Do you get it? It is as if Apple fans would build the new iPhones. It took many attempts, an obstinate father and a visionary son to navigate through the first 50 years of the company and create a system that would last for generations. The Lego company managed to become the leader of the toy industry by building a strong brand, diversifying in a the theme park and entertainment industry while remaining focused on their core business, producing toys. Let us conclude with a word of current CEO Niels Christensen, who, in the latest annual report, mentions a future focused on sustainability. Indeed, in June 2021, LEGO revealed a prototype of brick made from recycled PET bottles. One liter plastic bottle would turn into 10 2x4 bricks. Even though the brick still needs years of development, LEGO already invested $400 million to become a more sustainable company. Now, tell us in the comments, in your opinion, what will be the next big challenges for LEGO? Tell us also what company would you like to see next? And we will be back next month with a new company DNA video. Until then, we release shorts every week. Be sure to subscribe not to miss anything.